Here now, Carol Markowitz, New York Post columnist. Carol, always such a pleasure to see you. Uh, if you go through this survey, hey, though, that 40, almost half of the superintendents who were surveyed said it was because of politicization of teach of the teaching profession and a similar number educator right. burnout and i just thought get over yeah. yourselves mm -hmm. yeah I, I i read those results and i wondered why private school teachers are not having the same kind of shortages um, you know it's funny because private schools traditionally pay less than public schools do and if you ask the teachers unions these shortages are all related to pay which we know is not the case um, in a lot of cases i i don't I don't disagree that they probably are burnt out from what's been going on, but the blame for that lies with the teachers' unions and with people like Randy Weingarten, who do politicize our schools, who turn it into their own leftist indoctrination factories, and the parents are forced to fight back. If they taught the subjects that they're supposed to teach and only those academic subjects, we would have a much smoother situation in our, in our schools. Oh, and Randy Weingarten attended that White House. I called it a manure picnic yesterday. Or garden party yeah. or whatever you want to call it again celebrating the fact that the american standard of living is in decline because of runaway inflation caused largely by the spending policies of right. the democrats she was rubbing elbows with or giving advice to yeah, I, I, I like to think that any time there's a party, a loser party, Randy Weingarten's going to be there. <laughs> I like to remember that the night before Terry McAuliffe lost yes. the governorship race uh, in Virginia, he campaigned with her on the stage. I'd love to see more of her hugging the Democrats really close and you know making sure that everybody knows that they're together. Um, she's a problem in our society, and she's a problem because the Democrats give her so much power. So I actually really like seeing her around them, with them, uh, making sure that everybody knows that she's in the mix with these guys in the in the axios article that they wrote about this survey here was a line from it uh, when the pandemic struck in 2020 teachers jobs got harder and more dangerous as students needs grew and parents and communities started demanding more from them i don't know if they lifted that from this survey but you gotta <laughs> you gotta be joking the yeah. hard job was on the parents who were trying to work and educate their kids because despite the science, the teachers unions wouldn't get those educators back in the classroom, which you started writing about in the spring of 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, again, if the teachers did have a harder job, that is because their union made it that way. So, for example, in New York City, kids went to school two to three days a week and they would switch off. But the teacher was there every day exposed to all of them. The science made absolutely no sense in this case. So was it harder for them to teach one class, half a class and then teach another half? I'm sure it was. And, you know, I always have a lot of respect for individual teachers, but they have to fight their union at this point. My column last week in the New York Post is we can't fire Randy Weingarten, but they can. And at this point, it's become their fault. It's, it's at their feet that their union behaves in this way. There's a, uh, before we go, there was a New York Times article. It came out uh, early this morning. And the headline is, in New York City, pandemic job losses linger. The city is still missing 176,000 jobs, the slowest recovery of any major metropolitan area. Not one mention of the teachers unions, not one mention the fact that mm -hmm. particularly working moms had to stay off the job to educate right. their kids, but not one word about crime, Carol. Yeah, none of it. And you know, I, what I always say about articles like this, it was not the pandemic that did this. It was the pandemic measures. It was the things that made no sense that we did to fight the pandemic. None of it fought the pandemic. None of it stopped a single case. None of it stopped the deaths. None of it absolutely did nothing other than hurt us. And so the economy hurting in New York City is because New York City politicians did stupid things and followed stupid people off of a cliff. And I really think that at that point, people need to take responsibility responsibility for what happened. It was not the pandemic. It was the policies around the pandemic. I just will never forget a giant. It was probably a 20, a 20, right, a 20 foot chain link fence around 
like playgrounds and basketball courts in my neighborhood. Yeah. It was all over the city mm -hmm. where they were, they kept you from going outside. That's how bad the policy right. was. Never forget. And we knew that made no sense. Never yeah. forget, never, never forget. forgive. Carol Markowitz, mm -hmm. great to see you. Thank you Thank so you, much. Dana. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.